So we saw what solutions are. They are homogeneous and they contain very small particles, less than a nanometer. But are all solutions the same? You can take some salt, mix it in some water, salt solution, and then you try drinking it. It's a little salty, but you can add more salt to it, and then you drink it. It tastes saltier. There's something right in solutions that makes them different from one another. But let's make this more beautiful, because it's a little easy to taste salt, but it's a lot more fun to see concentration. Oh no. What did we mention here, right? We mentioned a new word, and it is going to be our focus here to define what this word is going to be for you. So, in order to do this, what we are going to do is we're going to take what's called copper sulfate. And these are why do we use these randomly of all the so-called particles that exist? Why do we use something called copper sulfate? Because it gives you a very beautiful color that you can see. So, what we're going to do is take some copper sulfate, put it in some water, and what you get is a beautiful blue solution, right? Now, we're going to take a little bit of that. And mix it in a large amount of water. Another glass of water. The amount of blue reduces, right? The intensity of the color of color blue has gone down. Now you take one more, and then you pour it a little bit, little again, and mix it <coughs> in some more water. Goes down again. Now, if you compare this and that, both are copper sulfate solutions. Both are blue in color. But one of them has more intensity. Is is a lot bluer in one sense of the word than this is. So what's the difference between them? Now you know that there are there is more copper sulfate in this one, you know, little beaker of water than is there in this. And you've also used the word "I'm more concentrated." You know, this is a more concentrated solution. You might have used this. The more and more salt you add, the more and more concentration that you create, right? Because that's how they sell, you know, fruit juice syrups and all that. Right? It's a concentrated syrup. Then you mix it in water and you drink, right? So you understand intuitively what concentration is, and it's our job to make it more. Physical, more definable for you. Now, now that you understand this, one of the first things we're going to do is clearly, if I keep doing this, right? If I take some copper sulfate, put it in some water, it becomes a little blue, little more blue, little more blue, little more blue. After a point of time, it does not dissolve; it stays on top. So, what have I done here? Right? It has reached the point where as much as copper sulfate that could be dissolved has been dissolved, has been ent- has entered the solution state. Nothing more can happen. I can also try this with salt. Keep adding salt. After a while, the salt doesn't dissolve anymore. Great. So there exist states in which a solution can exist. Now, in our previous example, where you had uh, the three cases of copper sulfate, that one, which had very very little copper sulfate in it, is called a dilute, where it's just very very little. And this one's called a concentrated solution. Now these two are vague, right? Because any, it's a comparative thing. If something is diluted, something is more concentrated than it. But now what we're showing you here. Where you add and add and add and then it stops. The exact moment at which it stops. At that point, and any time more than that, it's called a saturated solution. It's saturated. If you go check the meaning of the word saturated, it means that it's done. It's over. Nothing more can be added to it, right? It's over. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Byju's the learning app today.